Thank you so much to Notion for kindly sponsoring this video. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to do a tour of how I'm using Notion to organize almost all aspects of my life. As a full-time college student, a language learner, and a content creator, I need a system that can help me keep track of everything that's going on. For those of you who are not familiar with Notion, Notion is an all-in-one workplace where you can stay organized, manage tasks, take notes, and so much more. As a lot of you may have known, I used to rely on my bullet journal as the only organization system, but since pretty much everything I do now is digital, I think it would make sense that I start using Notion. So let's get started with the tour. For my setup, I focus more on the functionality and minimalism because it works the best for me. I only have one main page, which I call it home, and this is also my dashboard where I access to other pages. On the left side, I have this screenshot of RM's reverse message that I like to read from time to time as a motivation and a reminder for myself to stay strong every day. I also have these two countdown widgets underneath and a section for today's to-do list. Then on the next column under quick navigation is where my subpages are. I have a separate page for every aspect that I need to organize, academics, Korean study, and YouTube. Then on the right column, I write down my goals and to-do list that I need to achieve during that month. Next, I have a similar section for weekly goals and to-dos. Then on the very bottom of the page, I like to keep a master calendar so I can visualize everything. Under each event, I have a tag that is corresponded to that event. So let's say on the 24th, I have an exam, so I put it under school. Or on December 2nd, I want to watch BTS concert, so it belongs to the BTS tag. Now let's go to my subpages. My academics page is pretty simple. On the top, I have a page for all of my notes. My favorite thing about Notion is that you can not only just use it for your own purpose, but you can share it with your group or your team. I always share my notes with my friends at school so we can have the same materials to study for tests and with Notion, I can easily share my work. For example, if I want to share my notes page with my friends, I just need to hit share on the top and add their information and we're good to go. Let's go on to the next page, which is my grade calculator. This is where I track my grades and make calculations from time to time so I know what grade I need to make on the next test to achieve my desired overall grade. I know all of us do that, right? <laughs> For each class, I have a separate table that includes the assignment, due date, grade, and the percentage. Now let's go back to the main academics page. As you can see, I have this checklist for all of my assignments for each class, and then on the bottom, I embedded two YouTube videos that I usually play when I study. I can't focus when I play music, so I really like these study with me videos. Okay, now let's move on to the next subpage, which is everything about my Korean study. Of course, I have to add a picture of Korea as the cover of this page. Look how beautiful it is. As you can see, in this page, I have three other subpages. Underneath them, I just put a quote from RM when he talked about when he learned English during one of his lives, and I thought it's very comforting and motivating at the same time. I am learning Korean like a turtle. Um, at least turtle has legs. I mean, they can swim in the water. Um, for me, when I started to learn English, I felt like I was like stone. Stone, which who gotta move. It's somebody gotta move it. And then I have a picture of BTS saying fighting on the bottom because I need that every day. <laughs> Let's go to my resource tracker page. When I study Korean, I don't stick to one resource, so sometimes it's hard to keep track of all resources that I'm using. But this page really helps me do that. I include a legend for the resource that I'm either using on pause or want to start soon. 
And under each resource, I also make checklists for the lessons that I'm currently studying. The second subpage under my Korean study page is italki note. If you haven't watched my previous videos, I also take Korean lessons for speaking practice using italki. So on the top, I embedded the link to italki website for quick access. And then I have different pages for each day when I have a lesson. Let me show you one example. So let's go to September 24th. Oh yeah, on this day, my teacher and I were talking about the drama Squid Game. So the sentences in blue are what I prepare before class. And whenever my teacher make corrections or give me related phrases or vocabularies, I would take note under that sentence. The last subpage in this page is my vocab hub. And this is also one way of how I study Korean vocabulary. As you can see, I have my vocabs categorized under different pages. The first page is the vocabs that I find in the Talk To Me In Korean level books. So for each word in Korean, I put them under a taco list and then I put the English definition or translation inside that toggle so it can be hidden. The reason why I want to hide the translation is because I want to test myself if I could remember the meaning of the word before checking the answer, instead of reviewing the Korean words with the English translation side by side. It helps to retrieve information that I have already learned from my brain. This technique is called Active Recall and I have watched many videos talking about it and I will link some of them in the description. This technique is as effective as making flashcards on Quizlet or any other apps of your choice, but putting it on Notion helps me keep track of everything in one place. And as you can see, I also apply the same method for words that I learn from other resources like reading books, podcasts, and even BTS lyrics. Okay, well that was a lot. Now let's move on to the last subpage which is YouTube. On the main page, I have a content list schedule. Under each video, I have a column for sponsor, whether that video is sponsored or not, the date that I plan to publish the video, and some checkboxes for all of the stuff that I need to do during the video making process. If you see this icon next to the name of a video, it means that there is a script for that video on a separate page. I don't always need scripts, but for some important videos like this one, a script would help me organize my thoughts better. On the top, as you can see, I have a page for all sponsors and collaborations that I have ever worked with. And then lastly, a page for video ideas. And that is everything for my Notion setup. If you are interested in checking out Notion, I will leave a link in my description. I think Notion is such an amazing organization tool for everyone and I hope my setup would give you some inspiration for your own. If you find this video helpful, feel free to leave it a like and subscribe to my channel for more study contents. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much again to Notion for kindly sponsoring this video. It's like a dream come true. I will see you guys soon in the next video. Bye!